what's up weirdos I'm Felicia and I like scary movies and today I'm talking about Hellbender which is a movie that's coming out in a couple of days on Shudder and I just have to say I have not taken this many notes on a movie in a while So before I even go into the plot of this movie, things I liked about it, I want to talk about the people that made it. So this family, called the Adams Family, which just makes us all giggle a little, comprised of John the father, Toby the wife, and Zelda the daughter, they live in upstate New York, and this family makes movies together. This is their sixth feature that they have made, and I I'm just like, what? So they wrote and directed this movie, they started it, they edited it, and also they wrote the music for it with their band, which is also called Hellbender, but with a bunch of sixes. And what's funny is when I started the movie, one of the first things I wrote down was like, ooh, I like this music. Like, who is this family? Why do I not know who they are? I was thrilled by all of this. <laughs> and then I was kind of obsessed with the movie. So let's talk about it. This movie is about a lonely, isolated teenager named Izzy who lives up in the mountains with her mother. After interacting with some local teenagers, she starts to figure out that her family has ties to witchcraft. So as you may know, I really like movies about witches. I have since I was a small child, and I still do today. And we have, I feel like, a lot of witch movies that are kind of about teenage witches, um, but they go to high school and, you know, the craft. I'm thinking Sabrina. I'm thinking blah, blah, blah. But this is a movie about an isolated mother and daughter who have this kind of deep, an ancient magic in them that is very dangerous. And because it's dangerous, the mother has chosen to isolate them from the rest of the world. And what I really like about this is it's giving me like folk horror, mountainy people witch vibes. Like these are people of the earth. They use nature to bend their will and the way in which they think about magic in this movie, and I think I wrote it down, is that magic comes from the fear of death, okay? And because that's this movie's viewpoint on magic, of course it gets dark very, very quickly, and it's so good. Now the second thing I really loved about this movie is the mother-daughter relationship. So first of all, we have mother and daughter being played by a real mother and daughter, so that's gonna give us something right off the bat. But then we also kind of have this trope in horror movies of the evil mother character, like Carrie or Psycho or Black Swan. And then we have something that's not a trope, but probably a psychology thing, and if you are smarter than me, put it in the comments. But the fact that mother and daughter relationships when the daughter is in the teenage years can be extremely volatile. And I think that's because when you have a mother who has birthed a, you know, a tiny version of herself in a way, and that daughter starts to come into womanhood, there's sort of this like face off that goes on. And I, and I think it's a blend of these two women seeing the mirror of themselves and each other and also not seeing what they want to see in each other. And so I feel like those are, are probably some of the most intense years of motherhood. And on the other end, definitely developmentally the most intense years for the daughter in those teenage years. So that's all to say it can get very intense. And then in this movie, they sort of flip both those things on its head where the mother and daughter have a pretty solid relationship. Even when things get very dark in this movie, they they have moments of, of laughter and love um, and things get very dark. And then in terms of the evil mother trope, the movie sort of starts you off there and then takes it a very different direction. I'll also say this is extremely difficult to talk about without spoilers because there is something else huge that happens towards the end of this movie around the idea of mother and daughter relationships and I want to talk about it so bad, but it's such a big spoiler, I can't do it. Maybe we'll talk about it on Patreon. Let me know if you want to see that. But that's not to say that Izzy is not a rebellious teenager. And so the mother-daughter relationship does, you know, get fiery here and there. There's actually a quote I wrote down um, that the mother says, if you break my heart, I'll devour you, which for me felt very much of like the, the parent line, I brought you into this world and I could take you out of it. <laughs> So there's just like so much there and the fact that this is like made 
by a family and they made this movie about family. It's just like, it's so intense. Another sort of theme in this movie that I was very interested in is isolation. So this mother and daughter living in isolation, this daughter being brought up in isolation and what that's gonna do to a child and how they view the outside world. Um, may that be fear, may that, that be anger and for Izzy, it turns out it's sort of a lack of empathy for other people because she's only ever needed to have empathy for her mom and herself. So that was really interesting. The next thing I loved, okay, so I, I don't know if this is in the trailer. I don't think it's a spoiler. I don't know. But the mother and daughter in this movie have a rock band that they play in together. And those scenes are so strange and magical and are filmed almost kind of like a music video. And they're always wearing this amazing like metal inspired makeup and playing this great music. And it's just, it's just so freaking cool. I just love it. And the last thing I, I just want to say that I loved is the nightmare imagery. Like yes, the witchcraft imagery they pull into this movie is excellent, but there's a few times we get these sequences of straight up nightmare imagery that are so good. And once again, are sort of um, had the vibe of a music video or something. And I just loved it. But yeah, it's safe to say, I thought this movie was freaking awesome. It's probably gonna be one of my favorites of the year. I was just so into it in so many ways. It comes out on Thursday, February 24th on Shudder. Make sure you check it out. And I think that's it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice screen. Bye.